big weekend ahead for sure. Today we are frigid. Numbers are low and if this was a golf game between yesterday and today, Today would be the winner because we are frigid 25 degrees right now in Lebanon to kick things off and you head in the city where numbers are starting out right close as we do see temperatures still at 25 across the area. It is incredibly cold. I know we didn't see any rain yesterday, but on walking into the station, there was a little bit of water that had dripped down. I put my foot on it and it was sure enough slick as can be. So watch out for some of that ice as you are heading out this morning. Even though dry conditions have been with us, if there was any water left over. There's a good chance it's going to be frozen. We've got clear skies in place to start off things across Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky, and even down into the Twin States. So you can believe it is on the cold side. Six degrees colder in the city, nine degrees colder over into Bowling Green. Right now, temperatures are starting out. Everyone is freezing. We've got teens and 20s outside. Winds are currently shifting, which is some great news. They're going to be out of our south today and going throughout the weekend, so that will draw in some heat. But right now, even though winds are light, it's bringing the chill factor across the area. 19 is what it feels like in Murray, as well as Camden. 25 face value in the city. Over in Cookville, it feels like you're coming in at 19. A few minutes ago, it was even lower than that, feeling like 13. So, of course, the winds will fluctuate, and so will our wind chills. The first half of the day, we are crystal clear. Then as we head around lunchtime, you're going to notice some clouds filtering in. These will be upper level clouds. It is still going to be sunny, but by this evening, the clouds will continue to increase. That is ahead of our next system that brings rainfall tomorrow. Now, Saturday system is not going to be a complete washout and it will not consume your entire day. We're actually just looking to see that rain easing in around two, three o'clock to our far western tier. And then by dinner time, it's going to ease closer into Clarksville, Paris and that's going to continue to move its way just off to our east. This is not going to be a washout. This will be very scattered and it's not going to amount to too much in the way of precipitation totals as far as that is concerned. Sadly, this system lollygags and it's going to be hanging out with us throughout Sunday morning. But then by Sunday afternoon, you will notice that clearing beginning to take place and Sunday is actually going to be quite lovely. So how much rain are we talking? Because we truly do need it. We're dealing with drought conditions off to our west. Right now, looking to see around a quarter to a half an inch at most as far as tomorrow and early Sunday is concerned. We're looking to stay pretty dry as we head throughout the rest of the next several days before, of course, Christmas rolls around. Here's a look over your seven day forecast today. We're going to top out at 48. The average high is 49, so we're close to it, but still going to be frigid 33 tomorrow morning. So flirting with freezing by the afternoon, 47 clouds really increase, becoming quite gray as we head around lunchtime and you'll see those rain showers by dinner continuing overnight into early Sunday before they will exit. And we'll actually see some sunshine by Sunday afternoon, a high of 51 Monday. Look at this though, 57 degrees for your high. We're going to copy and paste that on Tuesday, Wednesday flirting with 60. It is going to be incredibly warm Christmas Eve though. That's when things get a little dicey. Amy, we've got some moisture moving in. If that moisture catches up to that cold air, we could be dealing with some flakes flying by Christmas. I'll have details on exactly what that means because we sure don't want to get your hopes up coming yeah. up.